All right, over the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about curriculum and teaching social studies and assessing social studies and planning for social studies. And one of the, the key questions you need to ask yourself is, am I planning for depth or am I planning for breadth? Okay, so let's start with breadth. What, is, what does that mean? Um, we're, if we look at, at the standards, a lot of the standards are written, so they have lots of different um, elements that you need to focus on. And if you're covering lots of different things, um, in, in a quick kind of manner, then that's probably doing it um, in breadth. If you're doing depth, you're focusing um, more specifically on um, key areas um, for a longer period of time. So um, in a way, you have to do both. So let me just give you a quick example. Fourth grade standard, uh, indicator 4-1.2, compare the everyday life, physical environment, and culture of the major Native American cultural groupings, including the eastern woodlands, the plains, the southwest, the Great Basin, and the Pacific Northwest. Um, most teachers are probably going to attack an indicator like this um, by having students maybe do a little individual research or maybe through notes um, where they're going to touch on each of those tribes in real general terms. Um, so they're going to you know, broadly go through each Students might remember them for the short term, um, but probably not for the end of the year since this is going to be pretty early. An in-depth approach, um, you see here a place coming up. This is Mesa Verde. Uh, it's the largest archaeological site in the United States, um, located in uh, Colorado in the Four Corners region. And, and what if you talked about one specific place? Maybe it doesn't find the entire Southwest, but, but students would remember what the Mesa Verde did. Um, I was able to crawl around. Um, Mesa Verde and find uh, lots of interesting things about the way people lived. Um, a tall person like me probably wouldn't do so well in getting through some of these tight corners, but um, talk about, about everyday life um, in a place like this. So um, you have some choices in terms of how you um, attack the curriculum and in the planning process, but is it better to go uh, in breadth or in depth? I'll leave that one up to you.